Ladies and gentlemen, in the volatile and ever-evolving landscape of the Amhara region in Ethiopia, intense and protracted fighting has taken center stage, pitting the Ethiopian National Defense Forces, ENDF, against the Amhara Fano forces. This conflict has seen a recent escalation, characterized by a substantial deployment of additional ENDF troops to the region. This video presentation serves as a comprehensive source of the latest updates from the front lines of this ongoing and multifaceted struggle, shedding light on the various facets of this complex conflict. One of the focal points of this conflict is the region surrounding Shua Robert, where a relentless and brutal battle has erupted between the ENDF and the Amhara Fano forces. The Fano forces have not only engaged in fierce combat, but have also boldly claimed a significant victory, asserting that they have triumphed over the ENDF in the Shua Robot area. Shockingly, multiple reports have emerged, suggesting a high toll of casualties on the side of the ENDF, with numerous soldiers losing their lives and a considerable number sustaining severe injuries in the most recent confrontations. What further complicates this already complex conflict is the fact that the Amhara Fano forces have reportedly managed to capture a substantial and strategic cache of weapons that previously belonged to the ENDF. This is a significant development, and it underlines the growing capabilities and influence of these Fano forces. To offer a more vivid illustration of their accomplishment, they have chosen to share a video that visually documents their acquisition of these weapons. Before delving deeper into the conflict's dynamics, let's take a moment to watch this video, which serves as a stark reminder of the war's human and material costs. Uh, አራት ክላሽ ከመከላካያ አራት ክላሽ ሁለት ቋቁርና ሌላ አንድ ደሞ ኮፍ ክላሽ የተዘረፈ አንድ ስናይፐር ሌላ ሙሉ ጥጥ ሁለት ግር ደሞ አንድ የተዘረፈ ዶጅ ማለት ነው የተማረከ ሌላ አንድ አርባ ጎራሽ ሚሊሻ እንደገና ደሞ 10000 የክላሽ ጥይት ተተኳሽ እንደገና ደሞ የብሬን 5000 ተተኳሽ የተማረከ እነኚ እንኳን በሻዋረቢት አካባቢ ላይ የተደረገ በፋኖች ጥቃት በደረሰባቸው ሚሊሻና መከላካያ ጥምርነን ብለው በሰሩበት ግዳጅ ላይ እነኚ እንኳን ማርከን ሰዎችን በይቅርታ በማድረግ ወደ ቤታቸው በመመለስ ያደረግ ነው ሙሉ ጥጥቃቸውን ማርከን ለቀናቸዋል Moving beyond the battles in Shua Robert, the conflict has spilled over to other locations within the region, notably in Dembra, specifically in Felig Berhan town, known as Debra Work, situated in eastern Gojam. Here, the Amhara Fano forces have executed a well-executed ambush on the ANDF soldiers, leading to substantial and devastating losses on the side of the Ethiopian National Defense Forces. This ambush resulted in a tragic loss of life, with several ENDF soldiers falling victim to the relentless onslaught while others sustained severe injuries. The violence also extended to the realm of military vehicles, with several ENDF vehicles being reported as destroyed in the process. Tragically, some Fano Forces soldiers were also counted among the injured, serving as a stark reminder of the human toll this conflict exacts on all sides. Shifting our attention to Debre Marcos, a city of significant importance in the Gojam region, recent reports indicate that the conflict is escalating rapidly. Reliable sources have confirmed that in the early hours of the morning, fierce battles erupted in and around Debre Marcos. The intensity of the fighting is notable, with the ENDF deploying heavy weaponry in this particular front. The outcome of this battle in Debre Marcos holds crucial implications for the broader Amhara region. In addition to these troubling developments, a shocking and deeply disturbing incident unfolded in Alemtena, Borododa County, located in eastern Shua within the Oromo region. 
Here, it is reported that soldiers from the Oromo region, in conjunction with members of the Oromo Liberation Front, OLF, carried out a heinous act of violence, murdering 14 Amhara civilians who had been kidnapped months ago. The horrifying aftermath of this incident revealed the extent of their brutality as the bodies of these innocent civilians were discovered in a state of mutilation and partially consumed by wild animals. Further underscoring the complexity and challenges of the situation, reports indicate that an Ethiopian army tank has been observed at the University of Gondar, situated within the Amhara state. This revelation raises concerns about the militarization of educational institutions, with universities seemingly being used as military encampments. Moreover, there is a stark contrast in the educational landscape as only a fraction of students, a mere 3%, are expected to be enrolled in Ethiopian universities this year, a stark departure from the previous years. To provide a more holistic perspective on the situation, we have received a video depicting an Amhara Fano leader actively engaging with local citizens. In this footage, the Fano leader is seen arranging meetings with civilians, shedding light on the strategic and organizational aspects of the Fano forces' approach to the conflict. Let's take a moment to watch this video as it offers a glimpse into the dynamic between the Fano forces and the local population. <laughs> The reports and developments we have discussed paint a deeply concerning picture of the ongoing conflict and its profound impact on the Amhara region and its residents. The situation is fluid and ever-changing, with lives and the security of the region hanging in the balance. We remain committed to closely monitoring these events and will continue to provide you with the most up-to-date information available. Stay tuned for further updates on this developing crisis as we strive to comprehensively understand and report on this multifaceted and evolving conflict.